Never did I imagine that I would find a passion in rural outreach, but it's so important to me now. One of the things that really struck me about West Virginia was that kidney disease was more prevalent here. And uh, kidney disease is, is a frightening thing. And it's all the more frightening because it's often silent and you don't know you have it unless you are checked and it's sought after. If this clinic wasn't in Elkins, we would have to go to Morgantown. And it is a long, hard trip for me. I'm not scared. So many patients would never have gotten the care they did had we not come to them. And I see this often in the patients that I take care of who are um, reluctant or more than resistant to coming to Morgantown uh, for their care. And also, you know, a lot of the patients don't have financial means and they are imp they're impoverished or they have a lot less than I'm certainly used to having. And patients that you know, when you don't have windshield wipers, driving to Morgantown is just not going to happen. And when you don't have money for food, it's uh, not going to happen that you're going to be driving somewhere to your, see a doctor or get your medicines. Dr. Schmidt has been my doctor since 1999. I dearly love her. The best way to get on the good side of Dr. Schmidt is to bake her a peach pie. Sure <laughs> when I finished my fellowship in 2004, uh, Dr. Schmidt had already started a project where we would develop these little clinics in rural areas. So we started um, in I think my first clinic was in Buchanan, West Virginia, and we would drive down there and see one or two patients because nobody really knew we were there. And over the years, those clinics grew to where we have a wait list to get into the clinics. Um, we spread out to uh, Moorfield, West Virginia, to Kaiser, West Virginia, to Weston. We've recently opened one in Flatwoods, West Virginia. So we've kind of just grown wherever the need was. And uh, as those clinics have been there, they've been very successful and very positive for the patients that live in that area. I think it was 2016 in May, we reached a 50,000 patient visit mark. And that represented some six million miles of driving saved by patients. So we were very happy with that and proud. About 2003, I was diagnosed with Alport syndrome, a hereditary disease that my mother had and my brother also has. And uh, Dr. Schmidt was my mother's doctor. So I've known her for 25 years at least. Also, you know, me working in the coal mines and this happening, I have uh, paperwork that needs filled out. And it's a lot easier to come here and have her fill out a paper. Even if I don't have a doctor's appointment, I can bring it here and have it filled out as compared to have to run to Morgantown all the time. I'd like to think I've helped them get through a lot of difficult times, um, not just with their illness, but with, uh, you know, try, hit the patient trying to work. I know I've written a lot of letters and filled out a lot of forms, but you know, I, I do it because I care about them. She's like my mom to me. I mean, she's caring and uh, anything I need, she's there for me. So. You know, one of our goals has been to try to help people incorporate their illness into their life, not incorporate their life into their illness. Our mission as the land-grant state university, West Virginia University, is to serve the state and to serve the people of the state. As chair of Department of Medicine, I'm extremely proud of the efforts and the successes of the programs developed by nephrology. From my perspective, this is the program that needs to be replicated not only across different sections in the Department of Medicine, but literally across the whole university. The Rural Nephrology Initiative is the most rewarding uh, part of my life and it is an honor to be part of the lives of these patients.